home for the child who survived who isn't scared to paint and who isn't scared to fly who's got the heart of a lion in the beautiful mind this hey friends in this video i'm going to show you a super simple hack on how to control your fluid pores it's probably already stuff that you have on hand and my followers and i have deemed this the corner catcher because i place it against the corners of my canvas to catch my paint and that's what controls the pour so what i do is i take just a piece of cardboard could be a scrap cardboard recycling is better you need an exacto knife and i'm going to show you a super simple trick with some shipping tape so the first thing you want to do is look at your cardboard the cardboard runs a certain way and it bends easier in one way than it does the other way so make sure that your cardboard is lined up so that it's easy to bend. Next, you just wanna take your X-Acto knife and according to how big your canvas is or the piece that you're pouring is how big you wanna make it. But I don't measure, I just kinda of cut a piece that's a long rectangle. And that makes it easy to kinda of wrap around the corners. So once that's done, you can see that, if I get it in the camera, my cardboard is running one way. Now shipping tape helps you to reuse this piece over and over. So what I do is I just take a piece of shipping tape and I cover one side. Make sure it's pressed down and that it's overlapping so you want it hanging over your cardboard and then take another piece and stick it to the other side so that the pieces that were overhanging touch and they make a seal. And you don't have to worry about how much it hangs over because we'll trim it before we use it. So now I have a piece of cardboard that's covered in shipping tape, which then makes it semi-waterproof and I end up just wiping it off after my pour. So I trim up the sides because those ends can get in the way. And by the way, if you don't feel comfortable with X-Acto knives, you can certainly use scissors. All right, so now that it's all trimmed, I'm also going to show you just a quick example on how I use it. Everybody sees it in all my pores. It's one of my trademarks. The corner catcher, totally great for controlling your paint. If you're new to my channel, I also have other hacks on here that you might wanna check out. Also, you can subscribe and like this video. Comments on the bottom are great. I love to hear how people are using my ideas. So technically what you do is when you're pouring, you just kind of wrap it around the corners. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna just pour this canvas with a solid color for simplicity, just to kind of show you how this works. It's not super hard. Sometimes the coordination of your hands gets a little funky at first, but you'll get into your own groove on how to use it. So what I do is after I get my gloves on, I'll just pour this canvas with some black paint. And if you've used this trick before, I would love to hear comments. You can follow me on Instagram. I love to have pictures shared. It's always great to know that people are using my tricks. This one seems to be really handy. So I wrap it around the side. And what I do is I let the paint run and what happens is the cardboard catches the paint and it doesn't spill over. I always tilt it back towards me to get the paint a little away from the edge. But when you pull your cardboard away, it'll stick a little bit and that will help you cover your edges. So you don't have to worry about the paint overflowing onto the edges because when it sticks to the cardboard and you pull it away, it sort of creates a suction that pulls the paint away too and it'll start to cover the edges you can always dab it sometimes I take a popsicle stick with some extra paint on there and just grab the pieces that didn't catch 
So if you imagine this canvas, you know, you just poured a ring pour or a flip cup and you really liked the pattern that was in the middle and you kind of wanted to save it. This is a great trick for that. It's also great for people who are concerned about wasting paint. I happen to reuse all my runoff paint for other projects, but if you're somebody who doesn't really know what to do with their runoff paint, this is a good trick for, you know, saving the paint that falls onto your plastic. And as you can see, my plastic is fairly clean. My canvas is covered. If I had a pattern on there, it would be in the middle. And you can check out any of my Instagram videos. I use this all the time. Like I said, it's almost a signature trademark, this corner catcher. And then what I do is I just wipe it off. So the tape helps it so the paint doesn't stick. Sometimes I let it dry because I just am lazy, but the paint will peel right off of the tape. And voila, you have a cardboard catcher. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate you commenting if you've used it, like the video, make sure to subscribe and check out my other hacks. I have a bunch of videos planned that are coming up. I hope to be, you know, posting a little more consistently, but as life has it at the moment, I'm trying to get up as many videos as I can with the time that I have. So little touch up on the canvas. It's not much. You don't have to fight with your edges. And that's the end. Also, on a side note, I use a torch, not a heat gun. And the only reason I use a torch is to eliminate air bubbles. Sometimes when you pour or you mix and you pour, you'll get air bubbles transfer onto the canvas. So I use a torch to help with that. Stay well, friends. It seems like the more time pass, the less I know. Change, there will be pain These winds will blow